everyone, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to create art inspired by prehistoric cave paintings. What you will be needing today is a pencil and eraser, something to trace your drawing with. I have a Sharpie here today, but you can use any kind of permanent marker or a pen. I have some crayons and I have some watercolors that I'm going to use to add color. And then we're also going to be using our cave art paper from our art folder. So this should just be a big brown piece of construction paper. If you do not have this paper, you can always use a brown paper bag or any other paper that you have at home. I'm going to put my watercolors and crayons to the side for right now and start with my brown paper. Now we're going to create a cave painting today of our very own and we want to start by making our paper resemble the texture of a cave wall. Now a cave wall is rocky, it's rough, it's sharp, it's bumpy, and we want our paper to have that same kind of texture or feeling. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to get a little crazy and crumple our paper up. So I'm going to take my brown paper and carefully, without ripping it, crinkle it up into a ball. Now, if you do rip your paper a little bit, that is okay, but we want to crinkle it up into a nice small ball here so we can add some real texture, some physical texture that we can feel and see on our paper. Now I'm going to very carefully open my paper back up and smooth it out a little bit on my table, but now I have this great bumpy rough texture on my paper. Now another thing I'm going to do is I am actually going to rip off some of the corners on my paper and a little bit of the edges as well. Now I'm just tearing little pieces off. I don't want to rip too much of my paper off because I want a lot of space to draw to. But I want my paper to also have some rough edges to also remind us of a cave that is all rocky and sharp and bumpy. All right, I can throw out my little scraps and you can look at your paper and see if you want to crinkle it up again and make it even more wrinkled and bumpy or if you liked the way that it looks. I'm going to open mine up one more time. That looks awesome. Now that our paper is full of texture, I'm going to grab my pencil and we can start making our cave art. Now, in the prehistoric times, people used to draw symbols and pictures on their cave walls as a way to show the history, to show things that they liked, and as a way to talk to each other or communicate. So you can choose today if you would like to create a picture that looks like some of our cave paintings that we looked at. And now if you would like to do that, I do have a picture on my canvas page of a bunch of different symbols and drawings and ideas you can include in your picture. Or you can create a drawing that represents your world today. So what are some symbols and pictures you would want to draw to represent our life today? Maybe you would want to include a picture of your friends and your family. Maybe you want to draw some of your pets or animals that you see every day. Maybe you want to draw books or your Chromebook or other tools that you use. It's totally up to you what kind of images you want on your cave painting. So we're going to pick different pictures, drawings, and symbols and combine them together on our paper. And when we're creating these, they don't have to be these detailed and perfect drawings, they can be simple stick figures and outlines of different pictures and images. So I'm going to start by tracing my hand. I think those are some of my favorite cave paintings that we've gotten to look at because you can actually get a sense of the person who is there making the painting by seeing their hand on the wall. So with my pencil, I'm just going to trace my hand on my paper. You can't really see it, but just know that it's there. I am also going to include a mix of different symbols with lines and shapes, along with some kinds of animals and things that I want to represent from our world today. So I think down here at the bottom, I am going to draw a picture of a Chromebook. And I'm going to make that nice and simple by just using two rectangle shapes, one for the screen and then one for the keyboard. And I can draw the screen in there and then I can draw some little keys on the keyboard to show some tools that we use today in my cave art. There we go. I think I also want to draw some animals on here. Now I do have a dog and a cat, so I am just going to draw a little cat face up here and then I think I'm going to add some paw prints for my dog. Now it's going to be a little tricky to draw on your textured paper, 
So your pictures aren't going to be perfect. They might be a little messy and bumpy, and that is okay. Our cave paintings that we looked at are not perfect pictures either. All right, so I have some paw prints. I have a cat. I have a hand print. I have my Chromebook. And then I think down here I'm going to draw a couple stick figures to represent my family. So I'm going to draw myself, my older brother, and then my parents. And then I'm just going to draw some different lines and designs throughout my picture as some different kinds of symbols and things. Maybe you want to add symbols that we see in our everyday life, like different emojis or other little pictures that you use. All right, I like the way that that looks for right now. I'm going to grab my marker and I'm just going to trace over all of my drawings here first so I can see what I have and see what kind of space I have left to add other things. All right, there we go. Now that my pencil drawings have been traced, I can go in with my eraser and erase any pencil marks that I can still see. They are pretty hard to see, so you can leave those on your paper. They won't really be too noticeable. Now that I have all of my symbols and things drawn, before I start to color them in, I'm actually going to take some of my crayons and just add a little bit of shading here and there on my paper to continue that feeling of texture. So I'm going to grab my black crayon, and I am just going to rub my crayon around in certain spots to add little sections of shadows and almost like dirt or areas of my cave wall that might be colored a little bit differently than other parts. I'm also going to do the same thing with my brown crayon. And this is again gonna help us create some more texture and make our paper look a little bit more rough and like a cave wall. And now you can decide if you want to use your crayons to color in some of your portions of your picture. I think I'm going to use it around my hand a little bit and I might color in some of my designs with my crayons as well. And we're also going to go in with some of our watercolor paints to add even more colors and shadows around our paper. But you can decide what is going to work best to color in your picture and decorate it. When we're coloring, we want to kind of stick to our colors like browns, um, oranges, yellows, more of our like earth tones, colors that you'd see in our cave paintings that we looked at already. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to put my crayons to the side. With my watercolor paints, I am just going to go in and paint in any other sections with my browns, my blacks, and my orange colors here. And I am going to do this to add even more texture on my picture. Now, wherever I added crayon, it is going to resist my watercolor paint, meaning it is not going to let my watercolor cover over it. So that's going to help add even more texture to our picture and make our designs look even more interesting. I'm just going to go in and paint in some of my pictures and maybe paint around the outside of some of my pictures as well. I think I'm going to go around my hand with some of my brown paint and then go around some of my other pictures too. But you can color in your designs however you would like.
there you have it. My paints are still drying a little bit, but I'm starting to see those different watercolors I used showing up on my paper. Once you're finished with your project, it should be messy. It should be a little crazy looking because again, we are making some cave paintings. They are not supposed to be perfect. Once you're done with your project, you can upload a photo or a video of it on my canvas page. I can't wait to see the creative cave paintings you guys have come up with. Try your best, have fun, and get creative, and I'll see you soon. Bye!